Hey everybody out there on YouTube. Um, this is a quick video review of a homemade carbonating system that I made myself. Um, it's basically a five pound aluminum CO2 tank, CO2 regulator, and you've got two gauges. This is the output pressure of what's actually going in to your drink that you're carbonating. And this is your tank pressure here. So. I'll kind of show you guys how it works and stuff like that. Um, basically, it's similar to like a soda stream, if you guys have seen those. I looked at them, but I kind of thought they were a little bit expensive for what you get and the fact that they use a really small CO2 tank. I didn't like that. And this model here, obviously I can use two liter soda bottles or regular like the one liter um, soda bottles, which you can pretty much get free, you know, or just after you use a soda in it, just take them. Um, I've got water in this already. I've kind of pre-filled it, and I'll kind of go through quick what I what I made this out of. And I've got the five-pound tank. You can pick these up at landfills usually. I don't know why, but they're just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them that people throw away for just no reason. I, I it, it totally blows me away. Um, I went out to the landfill and I grabbed uh, four five-pound aluminum tanks and two 20 pound aluminum tanks in probably like a minute. They had them all stacked in one area and just, this was like the best looking one that I found. Um, and I keep this in my house, so it's a, it's a five pound tank, which is more than enough. I mean like probably two or three years of carbonating drinks. I've been using this one for a year now and it's still half full. Um, the regulator here is basically, it's a welding regulator. Um, I've got it set down to an output pressure of 60 PSI, which is, about as high as you want to go with these plastic containers, uh, two liter. And how you use it is you just turn this on and that lets the CO2 flow from the tank. And then obviously you'll start out with the two liter. I'll just show you guys, this is not carbonated. As you can see, there are no, um, no bubbles coming out of that. So I'm gonna dump that out. And you want this usually about a third full. And then have some air space there and you'll squeeze it down and get the air out of it, displace the air, and then screw the cap on. And then attach this, it's a quick connect. And then basically just turn it on here turn it upside down so you guys can see the CO2 going into it. It helps to have the liquid chilled. Now this is room temperature, I haven't done that. You just shake it, you'll see a lot more CO2 flow in. As you shake it, it basically does the same thing like a commercial um, soda fountain would do. Uh, they have an agitator that when the liquid flows through it, it agitates the CO2 with an electric motor uh, with the water uh, or the water mixed with the syrup and you can see a lot more flowing in there. And the other benefit to making your own too is you can actually set the pressure which kind of determines the amount of carbonation that you actually end up getting. Soda streams are supposedly set somewhere around 15 psi to 20 and like I said I'm running this one anywhere between 40 to 60. So. And also these containers, I've tested them up to about 90 PSI and they'll, they'll hold that. Usually I'll shake them for about 30 seconds. I, what I usually do, what's really healthy, is just take juice and I'll put about 25% juice in a container and the rest water. And it's really good, it tastes just like soda, but you don't have any you know, corn syrup and all that kind of stuff in it. And you can see a lot of air bubbles in that now. And I picked up the hose at a commercial hose supply place. I paid like three bucks for that. It's rated for, I think it's 2,000 PSI. And this valve here, this quick connect valve, was like three bucks at Lowe's. And these pieces here were six bucks free shipping on eBay. So total, uh, and the regulator was like 30 bucks. The whole system I've got maybe 35, 40 in, something like that. And I'll go ahead and show you. You can disconnect this while the CO2 is on. It won't leak out. There's a little depression pin in there. 
and then reconnect it and take it off. There you go, you have uh, really carbonated water. And the carbonation level on this, I mean, it's probably, I would say three times as carbonated as like soda you would buy in a store to give you any kind of an idea. Uh, it just, it works really great. You can carbonate any liquid. Um, and like I said, it helps if it's cold. If, if you chill it down, like right above freezing, that, that's, you can get the optimal carbonation on it. But uh, like I said, you make juice, milk, just really anything you can think of, you can carbonate with this. So, it's really phenomenal and it's cheap too. Uh, I have 50 pound CO2 cylinders and I get those filled at a welding shop. And I'm paying, I think $13 right now for 50 pounds of CO2. So this is a five pound cylinder and I'll fill that off the 50 pounder. So that's like $1.30 worth of CO2. And like I said, I probably make uh, two, two liters a day. And I've gone to like a party or something like that and made, you know, 101 night. And uh, it was really cool, everybody liked it. Um, yeah, so. And I've been using this, like I said, for a year now with, and I've only used about half of it, so I figure that's like 70 cents. Uh, way cheaper than like a soda stream or anything else out there. And yeah, if you guys have any questions, you know, and uh, post a bunch of comments. If anybody else has built one, um, if you got any pictures or anything like that, shoot them over. And just like to hear from other people out there. And uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks a lot.